Hello and welcome everyone to our channel Minute Tips. Today we will be discussing an important question that is asked in each and every Java interview. That is, what is the difference between array and array list? Every interviewer will try to ask this basic question to the students, to the candidate, to understand how in depth the candidate, the student is having knowledge about the internal architecture, internal working of array and array list as array are one of the most important concept that we use while programming. So let's try to see what answer is expected by the interviewer and how we can tell them the internal architecture, internal working of array list. So I'll start with very basic points that each of us know like arrays are homogeneous in nature, array list are heterogeneous in nature. Number two, array is a static and fixed length whereas array list is a dynamic and the size can increase or decrease. Okay, arrays are faster whereas array list is relatively slower because of its dynamic nature where it grows, I mean increase and decreases its size. Third and most important point is arrays are good for performance and array list are not good for performance. Now this is the answer that we all know and we all try to give to the interviewer but yet the interviewer is not happy because these are the very basic points that everyone knows what the interviewer is expecting from you is the reason reason why arrays are faster and good in performance as compared to array list what is the reason that array list is not so good with the speed and not so good for performance that's what we're gonna see in our next slide so let's see it now the very first and basic and important point is the default size default size of array list is always 10 okay so my index will start from 0 to 9 now this is my array list where I have 10 different elements 10 20 30 40 on the respective indexes now when I want to add a new element that is 110 definitely that element needs to be added on the 10th index but as you can see I just have 0 till 9 index on my current array list and the size of my array list is full so what happens further is array list I mean Java internally calculates the new size of a new array list how there is a formula the formula is new size is equals to the current size of the array list into 3 by 2 plus 1 let's calculate our new size comes 16 okay so now my indexes my new indexes are from 0 till 15 and my new array list creates in a similar way as you can see on the screen now what happens we know the new size a new empty array list is created now one by one our JVM will copy the element from the previous array list to the new array list as you can see one by one all the elements gets copied now as soon as my ninth index element that is 100 gets copied I wanted to add my new element that is 110 it gets added on the 10th index as you can see now what happened now I have two array list one previous array list as I am referring as old array list and my new array list once my new array list is created all the elements are successfully copied from old to new array list then what happens Java will slowly destroy my old array list as you can see okay so this is the reason guys so if an interviewer asks you why array lists are not so good with performance or why they are not as faster as array then you can tell the answer that every time 
when we want to add a new element to the array list internally array list will create a new list copy all the elements from the old list to the new list as we just now saw and then destroys the old list so it takes couple of seconds to do that right it takes some time to copy paste create and destroy that's the reason it is slow and the performance is affected i hope you like this video and this explanation when you try to give to an interviewer the interviewer will also know that you know the internal working of aerialist please like and subscribe our channel and i hope to see you in the next video